in the, the book from the server that allows this. Discover the server mistake. Right. They've also discovered which account takes advantage of the mistake. And they have times now when this account logged in. So for us to come out and say the ideal, look at this account, there's no cheating. Uh, it's going to be tough to sell. Now on the other hand, I think if what, if what we can do is to say we've studied it. We know that sometimes it was used, sometimes it was not. These are these limited times are the times it was used. These people are being refunded. Uh, and whatever the story is in the end, uh, reports from somebody like McAvoy are going to have to back the story. So, you know, we're going to have to say in there, after we determine... What's the explanation for the person asking the question? And you must have asked the question yourself. For a third party to have had access to this tool. I don't think we can, in the end, I don't think we can say that it was a third party. Say that there was a consultant that had knowledge of the code. Uh, it's, uh, and he hacked into the system. You're an expert. Hacked into the system, took advantage of this. And say that, uh, uh, similar to the last one. Here's what, I told, here's, here's what I told Greg this morning. Travis, do you know Travis, my guy? Travis is willing to say that he did all this for me. He hacked it. So he, he actually is the one that fixed it. It was broken. He actually is the one that... And he's willing to say that he even went as far as to call up Freddie Deeb and say, Russ wants you to cash this because he was like... He, everybody knows he does everything for me. He does my airline tickets, my schedules. He does my... He does everything. So if he was to call Freddie and say, Freddie, Russ wants to send you some money to cash or Bonnie, he wants to send you some... So he's willing to say that he did this himself. So he, the only person that he might have to say it to is the KGC. He would. He wouldn't want to say that to the one. No, you don't want to say that to her because they would know who Travis is, right. a lot of people. Right. So no, what this is is just that's the explanation for the KGC in Norton. So we've identified the guy. Uh, I think for the public, it just has to be former consultant to the company, uh, took advantage of a uh, server flaw by hacking in the client been able to identify exactly when sometimes he played with it, sometimes he played without it. Sometimes he intentionally won and sometimes he intentionally lost. Very erratic play. What we've been able to identify is the times when the tool was up and their net wins. And, that's what and what you could also say is that the tool was originally set for a 15 minute delay and he, happy he hacked it to a, a, to, to, a real yeah, time. to a real time. You no, can't. I think that's what we do. It, no. was, it was originally because Andy Duke used it on a 15-minute delay quite a few times. But uh, in the end, well, but in the end, though, there'd be a refund. So what we were asking you in this exercise is not to say that you're going to pay these people, but to identify the people that you know well enough that you can explain it away to them if they were ever to assert a claim against us. Okay. Like if they were ever to say I understand. Email, I understand. And what you would say is, if when I say talk to us, it wouldn't be that you're involved. It's just that, yeah, I founded this thing with Greg. This is what happened. Uh, you know, friends to the company aren't, we're not getting, you know, I didn't take any money back, even though I was owed money. And, uh, I mean, that's part of the story is that I think, Russ, you have to be owed something here. Because, I mean, you played at these high stakes tables. So, I mean, this thing has to have ripped you off, too. It has mm -hmm. to have. So, uh, otherwise, it's not going to fly. And, uh, uh, and we can pick off the story for each what person. Do you, what do you, how do you think this money, if, you, if it's supposed it's a 5 million, which Greg thinks it could be right around 5 million, if you had to pay the players and give KG, what is it, KG? KGC. If we can get it down to 5, I'd be happy. And, then I'd and how does the money get paid? Uh, well, it, I mean, we'll convince the business to pay some mm -hmm. straight off the top, just because of, the, you know, that's... Ex Capsa or AP, are you talking about? No, I'm talking about the business that's running the company right now, Norton's business. AP or EUP? I'm confused. It's, well, it's combined. Now. It's combined, okay. Right, you know, the operators, yeah. the new enterprise. I don't think they're responsible for anything. They're not. But nonetheless, we're going to... This is a damage mitigation. Yeah. But I don't think they're responsible for anything. I agree. So I, I don't think they're responsible for it. Well, no, I, they're not morally responsible. However, they did buy this business. When they bought it, they, you, you always take a risk when you buy a business. 
Plus, they've made money. Here's, on, here's what I feel. They've made money off the combined business for a year. They have. They can pay some of it just straight up. They can pay some, but here's what I feel. I feel, and I and I did take this money, and I'm not trying to make it right, Dan. So we got to get that out of the way, right, real quick, okay? Uh, I did use a lot for stuff that you don't realize on here for the company that was paid for. I told you. I mean, I mean, crazy Canuck. Up until I quit working four months ago, you can go look at his account. I staked him on every tournament to wear ultimate bet gear. And he played all over the country for you guys. I didn't have him out there playing for me. Right. I mean, even Will called me up four months ago. He says, Rush, you quit staking uh, Crazy Canuck. He goes, do you think we should still sponsor him? And I thought, you know, if he's not going to play tournaments, I said, no, I, I wouldn't need to hire him anymore. But I had him up there wearing your stuff. When Freddie Deep, up until the time that you... The yes, other, I know. Yeah, you. I understand. So there's a yeah, lot of I know stuff. That there's, yeah. That there's, a lot of, here's, there's a lot of guys that I gave money to that, that it shows me winning that I actually would send them 100000 and say, I'm going to stake you, not caring if they want to lose, just to get them to play in the big games. Right. So I would send a, a guy 100000 or 50000 I'm, I'm, I said 100 i I'd send 25 or 20 or 10 or this to a lot of people. So a lot of these numbers is not all numbers that came out cash. Maybe cash, I don't know, maybe $7 million, I don't know. You'd, you'd have to tell me that. I don't know. But Bonnie didn't get as much as Greg said here, cash. Freddie Deeb got the most cash. Also, the Fred and Bonnie together were like five to six. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's what, that's what I said. Bonnie maybe got, Freddie got the majority of it. I don't know who got it all. Yeah, Freddie Deeb. Freddie Deeb got uh, the majority. Now, Paul is convinced that Carolyn is involved. Seriously. Only She's the, not. And only because the entries on all these things. I know. So, and uh, here's the thing with Travis. Travis, Travis would call Carolyn. Travis would call Carolyn and say, "Russ wants you to change your name." Right. Well, and Carolyn was. Yeah. That Paul thinks that Carolyn was involved. Really? Why? You say why? Because that shows that Scaps is responsible. Because Carolyn worked for Jim. Carolyn was one of Jim's DDs. So. <laughs> Hello, from Hey, Tim. Good. Uh, I'm in a meeting. Anything important? Tell me. Tell me what. Tell me. Tell me. Great. I love that. Thanks, Johnny. Right. Say that again. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I was Miami. There, there's a the one, Miami John. I had him where you beat your right here. This guy. But, you know, so it's no, I know. And Andy, right. Phil, you've got to I, know. I just, you paid some of it. You paid some yourself. You got in trouble, I think, for it. They yelled at you. Greg called me at first and yelled at me. But I spent like $100,000 to put him on that golf thing on TV that with the UB stuff. Let him, I didn't have him wear UB gear. Then he wore UB. So I spent a lot of this money here on things for people out there. I did think, I okay, I'm just trying to, but Ross, I know okay. you. Okay. I mean, you helped a lot of people who needed the money with this. And frankly, I think if you go back far enough, suspicions as to what was sanctioned, what wasn't, is when the company was in the old bad shape. It's we won't had to go back to somehow. So we won't. But, uh, uh, but anyway, no, the reason that it's not bad for Carolyn is because uh, not, it's not bad for this whole, in the big picture, for Carolyn's name to be brought out there because it shows that his gaps is responsible. She was a VP there. Uh, in order to get to Xcaps's money legally, they almost, they almost have to show fraud because they've gone through this claim bar process to take all these other things. We're looking at two aspects of it first about back for the audit monster. Not being disclosed to the body. Right. Well, yeah, that as well. And then the Jim Ryan, the fact. Jim Ryan knew that. Jim Ryan knew it was there. Didn't know what it had to be used for, but he knew it was there. And he hid that from Yuri. And Jason obviously was told not to tell Yuri about this. Jason went through the entire code base with Yuri. said the place where it was in the code was in an unusual place. Uh, anyway, but so. Yeah, no, so to get, to shift the responsibility to its NAFSA, which is my sort of goal, that unfortunately they're the only people who have the money benefit from this. I mean, the reason that 
less, if this was used to support the practice and 